Yo, what's going on YouTube? And we are back. Now, before I even go too crazy, I know y'all not expecting this because I really be inconsistent as hell. But I promise you, we are back. I say that every time. Work, we are back. We back. All right, we back. But like, let's just talk about 2K23 because we be getting a lot, a lot, a lot of 2K23 news of how things are going to work and how SIGs are going to work, dunk animations are going to work, things of that nature. So... For those of you who haven't been on Twitter, because I go, I be a hawk, and I see Mike Wayne tweet, I'm like, okay, what you talking about, feel me? So, let's talk about it. The number one thing that I feel like should be talked about is the new dunk requirements. If you see the tweet right here, popped up on the screen. He said, dunk requirements for NBA 2K23, since some have asked, the vertical requirements are next gen only. So that means on current gen, even though we have the same builder as next gen, the vertical on your build will not make a difference to you getting the dunks. Does that make sense if we have the same builder? No. But do I care? Kinda. I mean, like, if we have the same builder, why don't we kind of have the same requirements? It's, it's weird, but. Um, and just look on the screen right here. You see all the dunks. You can pause if you want to see that. I'll leave it up for like five seconds. What really matters to me through all of this is that contacts are way more space. At least they look like contacts in 22, actually, except that big man contacts are now completely based off standing dunks. Your driving dunk can be zero, but you still get the big man contacts. That is actually smart because why do you really need a driving dunk if you're going to get big man contacts? And you know, your standing dunk doesn't matter if you want to get actual, like just the pro contacts or the elite contacts. So it makes sense. Like, I'm, I'm messing with it. I ain't gonna hold you. Mike Wayne, you might be on to something. You might be making a good game. You feel me? Now, next on the list, he said dribble sig requirements are very similar to last year. I still recommend putting your ball handle rating up to 86 if you want everything. So. As you know, you get pro dribbles, I believe, at 80. But in 22, the like threshold, you have to be like 6'4 shorter and have an 86 ball control if you wanted every SIG. So, if anything, if you really want to play it safe, I would recommend doing that. Just, like, based off what Mike Wing is saying, that should be the case. You know, like, it's not hard. <laughs> Let me stop trolling Black like, Frodo. Based off what he's saying, dribbling might be like the same in terms of how you make your build so if you want to make a build that gets speed boosting dribble moves and you know comboing up quick and all that one your dribble guard 86 ball control make sure you get that 86 i don't know if we're gonna be getting plus fours he hasn't said anything about that but if you're getting plus fours just make sure at 99 overall you have an 86 ball control at least all right and another thing he said is the people have spoken amending this tweet gonna push some sigs up to 90 plus which means they're gonna be some sigs that you get only if you have a 90 ball control or higher so you know what you gotta do start at 86 get to that 90 feel me it's that it's really that simple it's really that simple just just make sure you at least get an 86 ball control if you want to be a in that game it's that simple the next thing he talked about and kind of odd and confusing to me is this thing where he's talking about adrenaline boost He's saying they restore on shot clock resets. Also, toying with the idea of slowly replenishing one or two if you slow down and wait long enough. So, from what he's saying is, when you use up your defensive boost, you're gonna drop in your steel block ratings. Hopefully, this gets rid of some of the spamming. I'm guessing that the adrenaline boost is like for getting steals or on defense reaching and stuff like that that's what it sounds like and so i'm gonna go with that like maybe it's for those people who are playing defense and you reach and you know when you reach it'll probably take up an adrenaline boost and so i guess it's his way of controlling it and making sure it's only good reaches that that's what it sounds like to me i could be wrong i'm not a dev i'm just you know putting my output off based off what i see but if you see it differently, drop it in the comments. Shoot, I want to hear how y'all think, how y'all feeling. And in other news, back to some ball handling. 
He said the highest ball handle requirement will be 92 for Curry and Trey Young Sigs. Some players are also pulled up to 90, which is Dame, Kyrie, and others. Why are Kyrie Sigs lower than Curry Sigs? I don't understand that, but I do understand the reason he's bumping certain Sigs up to 90 plus. It makes perfect sense. Mike Wing, okay, you're trying to make a good game. I'm appreciating you. You're, you're doing a solid job. Now, I mean, while we're here, biggest news, great news, because as somebody who played like 22 on occasion, even when I was Hulk 21, real player percentage is packed. It's packed. Look at the tweet. It's on. The, it's packed. We smoking them. Real player percentage is gone. All you bums who just use real player, you're you're done. You're done. My, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I even have to geek like that, but like for real, I hate people who use real play. I hopped on a game yesterday and I got done up by real player percentage. I don't like it. Another bit of news is that Mike Wang stated that driving dunk dictates how easy it is to block dunk attempts. Flashy dunks boost your takeover meter faster than basic ones. Mmm. Mmm. And you know all I do when I'm on my slides. You can see it in the game. Play a flashy dunk right there. That's a tomahawk. So. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. That makes sense too, because like a takeover, if it's built off, you know, doing flashy dunks, it makes sense. Yeah. But uh, I think that's about it, except for the fact that um, you know, he said we get double take on current gen as well. So uh, because a lot of my uh, friends are going to be on current, that's where you will find me until I have people to play next gen with. But I'll probably end up playing both. But uh, that's all for me, y'all. Thank you very, very much for watching. For whoever tuned in. Oh, man. If you're new, do me a huge favor and subscribe. I love y'all, boys. We out.